a UF, USFG modified organism that has had its DNA altered or modified in some way through genetic engineering. In most cases, GMOs have been altered with DNA from another organism, plant, virus, or animal. These organisms are sometimes referred to as transgenic organisms. Um, today, if we can prove that, the G that GMOs are having a dangerous impact on the country and life would be better without them, then we win. In order to make crops more resistant to pests, scientists insert a gene called B-toxin, derived from bacillus, and this hard word to say, thuringiensis bacteria, into corn and cotton plants. The toxin attacks the stomach lining of nibbling insects, killing the pests within a couple of days of ingestion. More than 65% of U.S. Corn crops contain this special gene that produces the insecticide. By, f by, the, by far the biggest use of GMOs has been found in large-scale agricultural crops. At least 90% of the soy, cotton, and canola corn and sugar beets sold in the United States have been genetically engineered. This was found from the GMOs fact about genetically modified food by Mark La Lanola. La, La La. <laughs> um, financial impacts of um, GMO crops have cost the United States an estimated $12 billion in farm subsidies, lost sales, and product recalls due to transgenic contamination, according to UC Santa Cruz. Um, the harms of GMOs can cause significant uh, impact to a person's body, and the effects can even be life-threatening. Subpoint one, the biggest concern is that there has not been enough testing of GMOs and no real long-term testing to detect possible problems. Food allergies are a growing problem in the United States. According to Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, Food allergies in children under 18 of age have increased from 3.4 percent between 1997 and 1999 to 5.1 percent between 2009 and 2011. Food allergies are a growing problem in the United States. According to the Centers for Disease Control, one more, sorry, genetic modification often mixes or adds proteins that were indigenous to the original plant, causing new allergic reactions to the human body, according to Brown University. Some GMOs have had antibiotic features added to them, so they are resistant to certain diseases and viruses. When humans eat them, uh, these antibiotics uh, features persist in our bodies and make actual antibiotic medications less effective, according to Iowa State University. Subpoint two, GMOs harm the environment. GMO crops and their associated herbicides can, farm, can harm birds and insects and amphibians, marine ecosystems, and soil organisms. They reduce biodiversity pollute water resources and are unsustainable. For example, GMO crops are eliminating habitat for monarch butterflies, whose populations are down 50% in the U.S. Roundup. Herbicide has been shown to cause de birth defects in amphibians and embryonic deaths and endocrine disruptions and organ damage in animals even at the few doses. GM canola has been found growing in North Dakota and California threatening to pass on its tolerant genes onto weeds. Numerous health problems increased after GMOs were introduced in 1996. The Percentage of, animal, uh, of Americans 
with three or more chronic illnesses jumped to from 7% to 13% in just nine years. Food allergies skyrocketed and disorders such as autism, reproductive disorders, digestive problems, and others are on the rise. Although there is, no, there is not significant research to confirm that GMOs are a contributing factor, doctors, doctor groups such as the AAEM tell us not to await not to wait before we start protecting ourselves, and especially our children, who are most at risk. This source comes from Institute of Responsible Technology by best-selling author and consumer advocate Jeffrey Smith. Um, our plan uh, to fix this problem is, to, is not going to be easy, and it's going to take lots of time, but a good step in the right direction is to educate the public public on the positive health, environmental, and ethical climate-friendly greenhouse gas, um, gases, uh, attributes to, attributes of orga organic, grass-fed, and pasture-raised food and farming. Although educating the public on the dangers and cruelty of GMO-fed factory farm meat dairy and eggs products um, can organize a great <coughs> boycott of all factoring farmed foods. Sub point two, uh, the plan um, to pass to uh, ban GMOs at the uh, city and county levels uh, and also to support, that's it, oh geez, okay. Can I keep going or no? No. Okay. <laughs> That's it then. All right. Cross X. <laughs> Thank you. I had a lot of information. Two uh, minutes. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Um, so you said that there are no stu significant studies to show that GMOs are contributing factors to any diseases. Uh, do you know where I said that? <laughs> I, I just want to, I want to make sure because... Um, actually, two of your sources here say so. It's Amy Myers, one, and second one was. Um, GM OFACs, genetically modified foods. Your own sources state that there are no significant factors showing that GMOs cause diseases. Well. So next, next question. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so, your s solution was to <coughs> educate the population. Yeah. Are you aware that there are there's already labeling being done on GMO? Products? Yeah, yeah. What I mean by that is, um, I, like I said, Vermont. I can tell you the the states that have already tried to do this: Vermont, Hawaii, Jackson, Josephine Country, and. Um, uh, countries, Oregon in their federal state, um, have already tried to ban and are in the process of, you know, creating a law to ban GMOs. Okay. No, no questions. Okay. Right. Thanks. Real quick, I, I made a change. I think you guys didn't, didn't catch. Um, from the, the, this debate and the debates after, the uh, the two NCs are going to do questioning. So it's the speaker, uh -huh. it's the person who's not speaking next okay. to give the next speaker more time. Okay. So, is this it should have been Pearl to give you more time for prep. So do you want me to still? Yeah, you. Uh, yeah, yeah. To okay. give her more time. So. Okay. I mean, you. you I think you were fine on the time anyway, right? Okay. Okay. One second. <laughs> 